Hello. This is a more detailed solution of the problem we had adapted from engineering electromagnetics by height. The problem is find the total charge contained in a 2 cm length of the electron beam shown. Okay. From the definition of volume charge density, we can derive the formula for a for the total charge in, enclosed in a volume, which is equal to the integral of the volume charge density times the differential volume. So from the given value of volume charge density, we have from the figure 5 negative 5 times 10 to negative 5 rho z. So that is microcoulomb per cubic meter. The microcoulomb part now, or the time series of negative six, is already included in the value. And na discuss sa atin kung ano ang differential volume kapag cylindrical coordinate system. That is rho d rho d phi d z. Okay, you can simply Substitute these values to our formula. We have, since we are integrating all throughout the volume, B will have a triple integration or triple integral with the three dimensions of our cylindrical coordinates integrated from the Raw direction, the phi direction, and the z direction. And from the figure, we can we notice that the limits are as follows. For the z, we have two centimeters to four centimeters here. But in as a unit, we will change that into meters, so that is equivalent to yes, 0 0.02 to 0 0.04 meters for the angle phi since it is a complete cylinder okay it implies that we will be integrating from 0 to 2 pi or the complete 360 degree angle but in regions so we will use 2 pi and the radius of the cylinder or rho is from 0 to 0 0.01 centimeters or meters okay one centimeter converted to meters okay the next is hanapin natin kung saan yung pinakamadaling mag-integrate so makikita natin that this function okay the volume charge density is a function of rho and z only so mas maganda na unahin natin yung integration at the phi because very directly naman yan ang integral ng d phi cancel lang yung integral that would be the value of phi evaluated from 0 to 2 pi and that is 2 pi minus 0 so that would be equal to 2 pi so yung value ng 2 pi ay multiply lang natin dun sa natira dun sa triple integration natin so, ito na po yung mayayari. Nawala na rin si integral ng d phi from 0 to 2 pi dahil ay na 2 pi na siya. Na-evaluate na. Na-simplify na. At yung value na na nakamultiply na. So, this value, when simplified further, syempre, 2 pi times negative 5, that is negative 10 pi times 10 is negative 6 and so on. And same base 10 and 10 raised to negative 6 simplifying further we have negative pi times 10 raised to negative 5 e raised to negative 10 raised to 5 rho z rho d rho d z okay so pwede na tayong mamili kung sino ang sa dalawa yung unahin natin pero Mas pinili kong unahin, mag-integrate kay dz. And 
of course, alam na natin na property na integral, kapag nakamultiply tayo ng constants, pwede nating ilabas yun yung sa gilid. Because it will not affect the integration. Kasi nga, wala namang function yun. That is a constant. So, ayan, pwede natin ilabas na si negative 5 times 10 is negative 5. And then, I will, we will integrate on dz. Okay. With the limits from 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. Okay, para mas madali at hindi natin hindi tayo malito, tatanggalin ko muna itong mga nasa naka-enclose ng blue rectangles. Separate ko muna sila. Then, yung makukong sagot ko rito, i-multiply ko dun sa kung ano mong matitira dun sa integral natin. So, we all know that the integral of e raised to u du is also eu plus a constant. Now, if we let from this um, integral, if we let u be negative 5 raised to 5 rho z, then direct um, differentiation, the derivative of u would be equal to negative 10 raised to 5 rho and dz. So, since we are um, deriving uh, with respect to z and all and also, when we integrate with respect to z here, we will treat other variables as constants. So, yung rho, hindi natin na derive because we are only deriving and soon here, we will only be integrating with respect to z. So, we will treat rho as constant. Okay. Therefore, from here, d equals negative 10 raised to 5 rho dz. I can com com compute for dz. Magda divide lang tayo, and we will be having dz equals derivative of z equals du all over negative 10 raised to 5 rho. Okay, in that way, pwede ko nang i-change. Okay, this integral by letting in terms of variable u, but of course, we will we would only we will also change the limits kasi itong limits na to 0 0.04 and 0 0.02 are the limits in terms of z. So, how can we change that into um, limits in terms of u? Well, madali lang. Since naglet tayo ng u dito, and these limits are z, so, i-substitute mo lang yung value ni z dito. For 0 0.04, you will get negative 4,000 rho. And for 0 0.02, you will get negative 2,000 rho. So, that will be the limits in terms of u. So, then, our integral now will become the integral of u, or e raised to u, du all over negative 10 raised to 5 rho from negative 2000 rho to negative 44,000 rho. So, negative 10 raised to 5 rho is a constant. Property of integral, we can uh, write it here in front as a constant pwede natin ilabas sa integral and the integral of e raised to u is just e raised to u evaluated from negative 2000 rho to negative 4000 rho and that would simplify to okay that would be 1 all over 10 is negative 10 raised to 5 rho times substitute hindi na natin Huwag na natin i-simplify, mag-factor out pa tayo ng iris negative 2, 2,000 rho. That would only complicate things. So, we keep things as is. Then, yung makukuha natin na um, value, yung solution dito sa integral natin, ibabalik ulit natin dito, pero tatanggalin na natin yung integral, integration in terms of z or dz. Kasi ito na yung substitute niya. Ito na yung value niya. So, our equation will then become, yan. Okay. Then again, 1 all over negative 10 raised to 5 rho is a constant. Okay. Um, sorry, hindi na pala kasama 0. Hindi na constant 0 dito. Kasi, what's left is an integration in terms of rho or integral of d rho 
Okay, yung rho kanina ay hindi na constant. So, ang pwede na lang nating ilabas is 1 all over negative 10 raised to 5. And, actually ito, pwede nating ilagay sa pwede na natin itong ilagay sa calculator because one variable na lang siya. Okay. Sorry. Yung rho dito, dapat makakancel niya na yung rho doon. So, sorry, meron lang. Tipo, difficult error, no? Dapat, wala na yung rho dito. Dahil makakancel niya na yung rho nito sa baba. Then, itong 1 all over negative 10 raised to 5, ay pwede nating ilabas to. At pag sinimplify natin, dapat wala na itong rho dito. Kasi nga, nag-cancel out na. Okay. So, paki-correct na lang po. Ayan, yan, pwede na nating ilagay sa pwede na nating ilagay sa calculator. Ayan, burahin ko. <laughs> so, kung naling wala na yung raw. Pwede na natin ilagay directly sa calculator to. At kapag nilagay natin directly sa calculator, of course, sa calculator, walang variable na row. Ang ilalagay natin doon, x. Kasi automatic naka-dx yung value natin na integral doon sa calculator. Kapag lagay natin ng values, masolve natin that q is negative 78.53 femto column. Or that is ang exponent ng fem2 is negative 15. That would be all. Thank you.